One way to purify proteins is using column chromatography. This is a fantastic way to get um, higher purity after doing crude separation. And so maybe you've already gone through a salt precipitation and then you've dialyzed your protein uh, against maybe water and now you have a mobile liquid phase that contains your protein of interest, but it's not pure. It's got a lot of other things, potentially other protein contaminants um, that were of similar size didn't dialyze away. So what you can do is take your um, protein containing mobile liquid phase and pass it over an insoluble resin that you've packed this column with this resin and there will be a certain interaction between the protein of interest and your insoluble resin. Maybe it will be dictated by some sort of charge-charge interaction or maybe by a size interaction, um, but for some reason your protein of interest will move through the column at a different rate than other proteins will, will do so. And you can monitor this by then watching the um, readings as the proteins drip off of the, the column. So you will monitor the um, wavelength absorbance at 280 nanometers. And because we know that tryptophan, tyrosine, those uh, amino acids will, will absorb light at um, 280 nanometers, we can look for the elution of the protein of interest. In order to better understand this chromatographic separation, I've made a cool animation. What we see in this picture is similar to what we were looking at before, only I've shown that we've added the protein mixture to the mobile phase. So the protein mixture is going to pass through the column interacting with the stationary phase along with the mobile phase. Within this protein mixture, we're going to assume that there are some proteins that pass through the column faster and that our protein of interest passes through the column very slowly. So as as this separation takes place, we're going to watch as the protein mixture separates and as the eluit is measured for A280 readings. So keep up for the changes as we hit play and run through this animation. Seeing the protein of interest in blue moving through the column, other proteins moving faster, those other proteins are going to elute first. We'll read the A280 of those other proteins until finally the protein of interest is going to elute much later and we'll read the A280 and see the peak for the protein of interest. Now, that isn't cool, then I don't know what is.